Hi everyone, I'm Carolyn Braden and this is my husband Tommy Braden and today we are going to do a little review on the EcoTrick electric bicycles that we just purchased from Amazon. This is the box that came in from Amazon. They were partially assembled, it just required a little bit of assembly. All we had to do is put the seat on, the two fenders, they just have some little screws, and then the handlebars. It just had one screw around the corner, or around the uh, shaft there and it was really, really simple to assemble. It came with some directions. The directions that came with worked the best. That would probably be about my only complaint, uh, but it was pretty easy just to kind of figure out between the directions and just common sense looking at it. But this is a, a level two pedal assist bike. It does pedal assist and then it also does, it has like a little throttle here that actually just kind of runs almost like a small motorcycle or moped. So you can use that or you can do the, or you can pedal assist as well. Really rides nicely, uh, especially with the larger fat tires. It works really good for going through some of the sand and stuff that we have down here in Florida. First thing you want to do after assembling the bike is to charge the battery. So to charge the battery to, to take it out, we just turn it to the unlock position, pull up the handle and, and pull it out. Sometimes this is the little clasp for the seat falls off. That's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. You just, slide it back on. To charge it, it has a little port over here for the charger that it comes with. It's a three pin charger and you just plug it in and plug it in to the wall. It takes about five to ten hours to charge all the way. Then after you're done, when you put it back into the bike, you just pull the little cover back and it's ready to go. Now that the battery's charged up, we're going to put it back on. It just has a little track here that it slides into. Pull the handle down, turn it over to the off position. Now that we put the battery back on, we put the seat back on, slide it in, pull the little lever, and it's ready to go. To start the bike, you just take the key, turn it to the on position, and you turn it on in the control panel. On the control, it shows how much power you have left. It counts down from four to three to two to one dots. It has a mode for the low level of pedal assist, low, medium, or high. We usually ride it in low because the medium and high are really fast. But it also has the six kilometer button, which is a cruise control. It sets it to ride at that position. We haven't tried it yet. If you don't want to use the pedal assist, you can use this, the electric throttle, which is what this lever over here is. You just slide it back towards you and that just uses just the electric throttle. We always use it as a pedal assist bike, but if you didn't and you just wanted to pedal normally, like a normal bike, turn it off and just pedal. So for the features the bike has, it has a very nice kickstand. The pedals are really comfortable. The seat, on the other hand, is not as comfortable as I would like. We may look at changing it out at some point. It has a front and rear brake. This is the front brake. This is the rear brake. They are a disc brake, so they stop really well. They're a little bit noisy, but from my understanding, that's just kind of how the bicycle disc brakes work. It comes with a, with a bell. It's a seven speed, a uh, regular seven speed bike. So to make better safety, we added on front and rear lights that are just rechargeable from Amazon. And we added a rear, a rear light. It also has a little meter here on top of the, on top of the battery so you can see the charge. I can't really seem to see how it works. We just use the one on the uh, bike control instead. And we also added a cup holder. You have to kind of watch the kind of cup holder you use. We already had this one here, so I just wire tied it on. I'm gonna change these out to a black wire tie to match the bike. But that was the only one way I could seem to get it to fit was right up here. And we also bought bike locks that kind of clip into the that clip into the bike to make it easier to port them around. As far as putting a basket on it, you really can't put one on the front because of how it folds here. You can get a one that you mount off of these brackets on the back and then mounts down here like a little uh, rack on the back. Then you can put a basket on that. We don't find ourselves needing to transport a lot so we probably won't get one right away. It comes with these fat wide tires which are very nice for the sandy soil down here in Florida and also if you're going to do a little bit of off-roading. I don't know how well it would do like mountain biking. We haven't tried that but for, for down here in Florida using, going through some of the sand and grass, it, they work really well. 
Something I want to talk about about this bike is whether or not short people can touch the ground to stop if they need to. I'm five foot one and I have found that this bike actually allows me to touch the ground. Normal adult bikes don't allow for me to touch the ground very easily, but with this one, if the seat is all the way down, then I don't seem to have any problems. So if you're a shorty like me, here's how you get on. Just put the seat all the way down, put your kickstand up, and then get on the bike and I can touch just fine. One thing to point out to people is these bikes do go really fast. I don't even think we've had it up as fast as it'll go. According to Echo Trick, it'll go like 20 miles an hour. So if you have kids riding these, make sure, make sure, make sure they have a helmet on and probably knee pads and maybe arm pads too. <laughs> Wrap them in bubble wrap because they can go fast or I would practice in like a neighborhood or in a park or somewhere where there's not a lot of cars around. Uh, we like riding them. We ride them around the island. Uh, they can go on the road of course. Um, they can go also on a lot of bike paths. I would put them in the lowest, 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 lowest setting if you have them on a bike path and just obey traffic laws wherever you go because again they can go fast and you just want to be really careful. There's mm -hmm. a lot about bike safety, especially here on Sanibel Island where we live and we always wear helmets, especially when we're going off on the street. We do have helmets and so we recommend that you wear a helmet for sure with this bike. Say so these are a little bit different than the kind of bikes that you grew up with. Yes, yeah, much more fun. <laughs> they are fun. <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're very fun. They just, we want to be able to travel around a lot of the island that we're on and with a regular bike, it's just, that can be difficult and taxing yeah. So we, we want to be able to travel and see more. So that's one of the reasons that we bought them. They also make, like especially in our community, it's really easy to bike to the grocery store, to bike to the beach, to bike down the, to the harbor store. So we want to be able to do that in case something happens with the car, yeah, uh, something like that. It form, would serve as a good form, of, alternative form of transportation. Yeah, I would definitely recommend. Like if you maybe live in a city, this is a great thing to have. Now there are other bikes that are smaller and fold up smaller. Now we want to demonstrate how this bike folds up because you can fold this particular model up. We've never folded them up before, but it's a pretty simple concept. Just pull up the lever down here, slide it in. You have to kind of pull the bar up and then they just fold in half. Make it much easier to transport. Then you just fold it back when you're ready to go. I think these just came in white and black. So for anti-theft device, also make sure you always like your, lock your bike up and take the key out with you when you're done riding. It also comes with an extra key, so we always leave ours in the house somewhere, just in case. One thing we did notice with the bikes is they are a little squeaky at times. Uh, I don't know if it's the disc brakes or if they're just a little squeaky. Maybe they're still breaking in, so to speak, but they are a little squeaky at times. It doesn't seem to really affect anything, but they are just a little bit squeaky. Sometimes when I'm just pushing the bike along, they're a little squeak, they're, or just riding it, they're a little squeaky. Other times when you brake, they're a little squeaky. Um, from some of the internet research I've done with the disc brakes, sometimes even on regular bikes, they just tend to be a little squeaky and I guess it's okay. So for a typical ride, we're ready to go. We just put the key in, turn it to the on position, and then we turn it on on the controls and we're ready to go. One other thing that we've noticed is when it's really sunny down here in Florida, it's kind of hard to see the controls a little bit. So I just kind of hold my hand over it just to kind of make sure. There are some different things you can buy like bike navigation systems that Garmin sells. I, we haven't tried them so I can't really speak to them but maybe that'll be easier to see in the sun. Now that we've got it on to ride, we just start, you can either start pedaling. We use the throttle a little bit to get us started. You can hear it squeaking a little bit now. Um, you have to be careful though because it really does take off when you first start. I almost ran into the pool cage here the other day. So you have to just kind of really be careful with it. So. Yay! You could probably hear the squeak a little bit when we braked. And that's really about my only complaint is it's a little squeaky. But it really is a fun bike to ride overall. We really have had a good time with them so far. So now, let's ride to the beach.
Just got back from a bike ride. We went for about, oh, about an hour or so. Rode about 10 miles. And I'm on about half battery. This is the second ride I've taken on it. We rode on another ride last night for about an hour. And I'm still at about half battery. So you could probably, I think we could probably go about five to six hours probably total. Probably about 30 or 40 miles on it on one charge. So it's pretty good battery life. For both rides I used about mostly all pedal assist. Mostly, I switched between low and medium, mostly mostly low, and then about half on medium. Um, and I only use the throttle, usually just to take off, just the full electric, just to take off. But we use pedal assist for most of the ride. If this has been helpful, don't forget to like our video. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we post all of our new fun videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Visit Carolyn's Blooming Creations.com.